Today's presentation and event uh, was set at Jungle Island, Miami, Florida, uh, which has a little beach area uh, with a great scenery of downtown Miami. It's a beautiful location, small little beach to the bay, and today's weather was perfect. We had crystal clear sky, good wind, far wind system, and of course enough solar for our uh, system to, to power the, the mobile cube. The mobile cube, very, very impressive system. The bay water came out. We had to put the pump in a little bit further because of the beach, the sand. And uh, uh, every 15, 20 minutes, you, you heard the pumps and how the solar system worked and the energy came together. So it's, it's a very, very nice open system. You can see the filtration going in. Uh, it's a first three filter system which cleans out the sand, which cleans out all the little particles. Uh, we invited the mayor of the city of Miami and uh, we had a lot of good turnout. We had the press there, uh, very important people. The system started producing drinking water right off the bat. The mayor took a little cup. First of all, cheers. With some ice and he tested the water so it was very, very nice to see how he uh, enjoyed that actually and then the rest started to come in. Today is an incredible day uh, for Miami because um, we're showing once again that we are leading in America, actually leading in the world, uh, in fighting global climate change and, and taking the right steps uh, environmentally uh, to preserve the kind of planet that we all want for our children and our grandchildren. This product along with a host of others can and will truly become the savior of humanity. On September 29, 2009, a massive tsunami wave, three waves actually, hit American Samoa, leaving 119 people dead, 31,000 people homeless, and 864,000 human beings without access to fresh water due to an antiquated power grid that was now offline. The mobile cube is perfect for the Urban Search and Rescue Task Force. But we're looking into other departments too, particularly FEMA or even the Department of Defense. FEMA, I think everybody would say, is, is, is one of the departments which really could use the system when it comes to uh, hurricanes, when it comes to earthquakes, when it comes to actually areas where you really have no drinking water. If you have first responders, you, within 45 minutes setup time, you start producing drinking water and you actually have energy. Meaning you can use telecommunication in, you can use uh, tools, you can charge batteries. So there's a whole variety of things within hours you can start setting up. One of the most valuable resources we have in general, obviously, is water. But when we go into an area that's decimated, that resource becomes even that much more valuable because a lot of the water that's available is contaminated water. And in order to be effective responders, we need to be able to provide clean water for purposes of decontamination, sanitation. It's also nice to know that we can drink it as well if we need to. They will use it in case of uh, disasters, um, hurricanes, earthquakes. Um, the handling is very easy um, to teach uh, one guy on this uh, system needs not more than half an hour. My daughter could do this. Of course the setup we have to do. But my daughter can switch it on, that's how easy it is. The mobile cube has various different systems. It's, it's built in compartments. You have three compartments. There's the battery sector and the inverter sector. The inverter is already a U.S. product because we're bringing it into the U.S. market, which is very important and has the voltage we need. And then the reverse osmosis system is a U.S. part again. It's a, a company out of California, Spectra, a very well-respected company, and they are leading in reverse osmosis pumps. So it's actually an international product. Uh, it's manufactured in Switzerland, very high standards, uh, very robust. And uh, with the new president and uh, his way 
to go into this uh, discussion about uh, environmental and, and save the earth, we are sure we are in the right place. Mm -hmm.